well from um, from one hobby to the next. Good evening YouTube, uh, Local Pyro here. Um, this is my first video of uh, the 2021 fireworks season and there's quite a, a mixture of stuff here uh, and I'm going to talk through each bit individually but first of all just want to say hi to all my pyro friends out there and generally everyone else. Um, hope you've had a good year. Um, a year can have some challenges sometimes, but we, we just get through, don't we? So anyway, I hope you're all well um, as you're looking through this stuff here. It's one of my favourite things, is that, that Kim Bolton box there. That's empty um, because it had this stuff in it. Uh, as you can see, we've got a... There's the Kim Bolton bronze selection box there, and this is the steel selection box. And uh, I want to talk through all the different bits and pieces on here because there's, there's a few projects here. What we have is a low noise display for the children. That, um, well, I'm going to have to remove some of the pieces because some of them aren't low noise. And we have... I'm not sure what to do. I think I might keep the steel box, but what I want to do is to take the bronze box and uh, fire each one individually with a description for each firework in the NEC and we're going to see how many of these fountains crackle and each one that crackle gets the thumbs down in my book anyway because I want fountains that look nice and don't just crackle all the time so many boxes of supermarket fireworks sorry about the rant and I'm sure a lot of you guys who know what you're on about will identify with this. They're just full of the same rewraps of a t terrible, huge, crackling fountain that just makes children run and ruins fireworks displays in people's back gardens. And um, I mean, not every child doesn't like crackling, but mine certainly don't. So anyway, let's uh, see what we can uh, talk through here. First of all, I've got, um, obviously, there's some interesting bits and pieces here. Um, I've got plenty of e-match and I've got my firing system now if anybody knows where I can actually get one of these remotes from because this remote won't sync with this Remo uh, tech firing system I don't know why um, I've changed the batteries checked everything I don't think it's the firing system I think it's the remote uh, and I can't seem to order one but there's lots of remotes that are like this and I just don't know if um, you know, I can just grab one and program it. But the actual system, it's really difficult to get hold of one. So if anyone who knows, that would be really great if you could uh, let me know. By the way, if you do like the videos, you know, the usual comment, like and subscribe. Um, or not, because I'm not out to make money. I'm just out to uh, have some fun and put out some information. So this ammo box here, or was it ammo crate? I can't remember. Uh, the armory even um, I just use this as a ready box now and I just keep it because it was really good um, so we've got some bits in here for the low noise display um, I have done a separate video for these uh, space shuttle rockets a 21 pack um, for 42 pounds um, and I'm just in the garden doing the comparison and I've got to say they're pretty darn good ideal for children's firework display so excellent I've also got these this year so, uh, these are by Nightstar so what's that it's chestnut trading Nightstar Brightstar goodness knows who rewrapped what and whatever but it's you know what the composition is like inside them certainly heavy but probably got a big clay bung in the bottom of each one I'm going to try to fire these two at the same time I'll join them together with some pipe match or um, quick match for those of you that know about that stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking, shall I do this? I know what you're saying. What is this bad boy here? Well, yeah, 
this, uh, sorry to disappoint, this is not live. Um, I fired this um, a few weeks ago at a pro display. It's a typical wedding, low noise wedding um, uh, candle. This is um, fantastic. It's, uh, it's a Jonathan's one. This is a 47 mil. It's a category F4, so it's a professional level. Um, and it's uh, sort of butterflies. Farfelli, if you're Italian or whatever, um, beautiful, uh, beautiful butterflies, about three at a time. Um, I mean, 47 millimeter bore. It's got a heck of a lift behind each one. And uh, what we do, we sort of put a metal stake into the ground and three or four cable ties. Make sure the base is well on the ground, and um, it's part of the low noise show for a typical wedding display. Um, so yeah, that's part of what I do as well. Um, taking time, I'm working towards getting my license, but but have been working with other professionals and stuff, so it's great fun. So this is part of the children's display. Um, so we have a Mexican wave, which is, I apologize for the video, by the way, it might be a bit yellow. It's 90 grams um, and it's it's like a small bin lid cake, isn't it really? But uh, it's mines and sort of you know comets, pearls, with a crackling sort of finish. But because the crackling's in the air, it's not too bad for the children. But it's the crackling fountains that they don't like. Fantastic firework, extremely heavy. But again, it's probably the clay in the bottom as well, because the the whole thing is. Um, I'm sorry, I can't really focus that very well, can I? probably look on the description on the back it'll be better so there you go 232 grams i mean the weight of it is like you know there's a lot of clay in the bottom but it means it's nice and stable on the ground but i would still stake these things out um so these are oh sort of like silver spinners to um yeah uh, a color peony yeah exactly there it is a fix silver spinner to color peony um, fantastic firework. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it in the low noise display. Here's something that will go. A very lovely Weco Catherine wheel. Doesn't that remind you of things you used to see in the 80s if you're old enough? Um, beautifully m made. Typical German. Really good quality. Should be good. Make sure you get the nail in it. Make sure everything's at 90 degrees to the post. And uh, hopefully it'll work really well. Unfortunately, this is not going to go in the display. Um, glittering gemstones because it is a big old crackly fountain. 162 grams, nice and heavy. Typical Kim Bolton quality. Crazily expensive, but very pretty. Lots of colours in Kim Bolton. You've seen this kind of thing before, Zeus Fireflies. There's the... There's a Yorge one, isn't it? It's a hay fountain, I think it is, or something. And there's other ones. Um, uh, beautiful, vibrant, uh, sort of jelly beans. Gorgeous colours. Make sure you stick it on top of a post, you know, at least six foot up in the air. And it'll rain down. Have two of them at the same time. Um, it'll look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Jumping Jelly Beans by Kim Bolton, who are now owned by Phoenix Fireworks. Um, and hilariously... Uh, the chap that owns Phoenix Fireworks actually came to my house to deliver this lot for me. How about that? And we had a great chat about all the old boxes of um, Kim Bolton Fireworks, like the Sapphire and the Platinum. And they are remaking some of those, but they're not Cat 3. 150 grams. Uh, there you go. We've got some sparklers and some port fires. It's always good to have a good lighter. So this is like a mini blow torch. It's very, very good. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do, hopefully, uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks or whatever. Oh, I will just show you this as well, um, for those of you that are interested. If you're doing professional displays, it's good to have a kit. Uh, you're going to have a much better firing system than this uh, professional display, but there's like a pair of hands that just goes along and helps out. Uh, it's good to have a kit. So, uh, see if I can just show you these things really quickly. So 
always fun to save bits of black match and stuff and uh, the fusing for other projects and things. So here's my sort of typical, what I'd say, good head torch, a good hole punch. This is great for when you um, put shells together in flights and things like this. Um, I'm not going to go into it, but those of you that all know will know. Loads of cable ties, different sizes, really useful. Good normal torch for checking in the field for all the inserts when they've covered a golf course and you've got to clear up the ground um, so that the people that own the property are going to ask you back. <laughs> um, a pair of gloves, good idea. Use this for taping around fireworks that you've staked out rather than gaffer tape. This is much better and you can stretch it more and it's so much less faff than gaffer tape. Uh, so it's good to have plenty of rolls of that. Typical brown parcel tape. Nice pair of scissors for cutting um, the cable ties in the dark after you, you know everyone's guests have all gone back in for drinks and you're clearing up the field. <coughs> those of you who know what they are will understand what those are used for. Um, and I will show you this because this is really uh, a cool thing. Hopefully I can just show you this. So this guy here, this is a non-sparking uh, brass rod. And so what we can do for time, precise timing, this is just a consumer firework. Very good though, loud and clear TNT. I've got to say, really good. Basically, the lift is, a, is here, I've uh, made sure. And what you do is you poke a hole with that into, into uh, the tube and you put your electric match in there, tape it up. And as soon as you press a cue on your firing system, it's instant. And you can do that with a lot of shot tubes for precise timing and it works really, really well. And it's not dangerous. And by the way, when you are punching holes through pipe match or quick match or whatever, with your hole punch, there is non, it's non-ferrous material, so you won't get any, any problem with friction. So it's perfectly safe. So have a good head torch as well. This is a, a, a typical good head torch. Different settings, high, low, flashing, which is useless, but red, which is very useful. It's not so intrusive and you can see what you're doing. Um, yeah, so there we go. Just some bits and pieces in case you're interested. Um, I'll have to tidy this all up later on. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, God bless you guys. Have a great November the 5th. And um, let's keep on building up this pyro thing in this country. It's really great to see so many... Uh, people like Lee Pyro and um, Joe and stuff putting out such fantastic uh, videos so many of you Jimmy Wiz and lots of others you know who you are um, it's great fun isn't it uh, so take care and uh, I will hopefully see you in another video